Ekstrom, a previous world champion, hasn't driven, remembers this car since the end of the world championship in 2020. He didn't even know it was the end of the series because, of course, COVID cut it short. And he gets a brilliant start this time. Matthias Ekstrom finally gets the start he's been looking for all day long. Shuts the door on OC Baby in the background. But Levski goes through into P3. And that's the fastest three drivers. 100% the fastest three. Got standard lap immediately. Ah, oh, this is mega. I mean, like, the, the start uh, Matthias had there. Um, no, he has the confidence. No, he's a dangerous man. Oh, mistake Lev by Bolevsky. Yeah. Bolevsky loses out. Daniel Torren up the inside line. Contact between them in the background. But Bolevsky's got the inside line. But only the top two are going through. And Andreas, that mistake might see him not make it through it might be uh Bilevsky is a very very fast driver he's still in clear air so he have the chance to to gap Torren and Carlson and the, the rest of the field here but right now Carlson is looking fast do you think though that, that he can get into the top two because for me I don't think I don't see uh, maybe making enough hard. of a mistake uh, I, I kind of forgot that there's only two cars oh, it's you may I get so, confused yeah. too it doesn't help that some categories it's no. two and some categories it's three so yeah I, I don't see him unless somebody gets a puncture or does a mistake but yeah you see here Matthias is gapping um, he's gapping baby uh, Matthias did a 45.9 which is Eight ten slower than what Johan had in Q3. So what did Johan do? We don't know. Of course, he, he did point five zero in his first yeah. lap in uh, Q3. Ekstrom's putting a lot of rotation on the car yes. on, on the way into he, he the corner. He has used tires. Uh, so talk, talk us around Ekstrom's driving through here. Cause you, you spent how long as a seat? Were you two years or a year as his teammate? Yeah, uh, one year. Yeah, but I know he, Matthias pretty well and. I know his standards are pretty damn high and there's nothing to say about his driving. He, he is no, but it's there. just the way yeah. he's... Like, again, here, look at the he's rotation on the car on the yeah. way in and again here. But this track here, you can drive it in so many ways and really? still be fast. You can be smooth and still be fast. Yeah. But some points and some areas of the track, you need to be aggressive. Like this corner here, the velodrome, you need to be a bit smoother. But then again, here, you can be very aggressive. Look here now. Right, yeah. sideways, back on throttle, over the jump we go. It's so good, isn't yeah. it? This is another... I wonder if we might be in for a decent race between yeah. him and Christopherson come the final. Yeah. Um, they're going to have to sort the grid out, obviously, first of all. We got with the three oh, seconds. 42.4. 42.4. So, so now we're in there. Uh, we, I'm just going to say, yeah, Johan Christopherson did a 42.9, which was really, really fast. 42.4 is next level. Okay, so Ekstrom goes half a second quicker than Christopherson went, so is that the fastest step of the weekend? Oh, yeah. Okay, by, there by we go. Andreas just nodded and blinked. Yeah. It was it, serious. Th this is uh, Matthias giving the middle thing to everyone. This is the special one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, the Matthias Ekstrom, He's the 2016 back. world champion who won last weekend at Poe in ETCR. The series is contesting. He won a stage oh, on the a jump. He knows how to handle a car. He might not have been in it for two years, but he wins semi-final number three with the fastest lap of the weekend. 256.5 is... Two seconds. Is it two seconds quicker than Christopherson went in his semi? And it's three seconds quicker than Evshin. So Ekstrom's just absolutely smashed the semi-final timesheets on used tyres. So we know the track is coming to them a little bit. So it's as I read it now, it's going to be Sondra Evian, Johan Christopherson, and then... Um, we have Matthias Ekstrom, Niklas Grönholm. Uh, Mo Mo Molly's with Joe Norton. Let's head down and have a catch up with Joe. Joe, we've just seen Matthias take this, his semi-final win. He's dialed in the start now, hasn't he? Yeah, we've been struggling. Uh, we've been struggling all day, but uh, finally, we think we've kind of nailed it. Uh, we managed to save some tires. I think Vaby had four new there, and we had four old. So, yeah, to put in them times was uh, really good and looking promising for tomorrow. So what you're saying, he's got four new for the final? No, not four, but we won't give away anything. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Not four, but we won't give it. You've only given away the fact you haven't got four. I love Joey. So <laughs> it's Joe Norton, it's Joe, Joe, people were asking for more airtime for Joe Norton in backroom life, yeah. weren't they? They basically <laughs> wanted Norton life. Norton life. Yeah. Oh, he would hate it. Yeah, he, would, he, he would hate he, it. We should follow him for a whole weekend with a camera. Just like, come on, Joe, what are you doing? Yeah. You have a cup of tea, Joe? What are you doing over there? What are you having for lunch? He'd, he would absolutely hate it, wouldn't he? But he's such a lovely bloke. Oh, he's he super is. calm. He's he was saying to me, Ekstrom normally has his spotting in Swedish. Yes. So I think this yes. is, Joe thinks he's Ekstrom's first spotter speaking in English language, but he said, I do speak true, very yeah. slow and calm when yeah. he spots, which he's, he's done for you. He's very good. And, uh, you know, he, he's got his tactics on point. He's been watching Radicals for so many years. So look, aggressive, yeah. Look, yeah, look <laughs> yeah. at the rotation on the car. Again, yeah. coming down the hill, just everywhere. Yeah. Again, bang, on the brake, rotate yeah. the car. You know, this is Ekstrom. 
really at his, really best. At his yeah. best. And yeah. I, I love watching it. Yeah. I really do. Yeah.